So the question is, on table 5, malnutrition is represented as stunting, wasting and underweight. It seems wasting is protective against severe uh, retroviral uh, infection in the area. Can you comment on this finding? So I think wasting was protective against, against retrovirus diarrhea because I th in wasting we get atrophy of the villus. And when the villus is atrophied, the villus in the small intestine is where the retrovirus gets attaches and then to be able to go into the body to cause the infection we get and the pathology we see. But since the villus are, are atrophied in wasting, you can't have this attachment. So I think that is why the children who are wasted were less likely to see retrovirus infection compared to the children who are not wasted. So the second question is among household contacts of the hospitalized children, the prevalence of the area was high, but retrovirus was low. Was there a difference between mothers and other members of the household? Among the household contacts of the children, the prevalence was not high. Actually, we had no retrovirus in those, in those household contacts. There was, no, there was no retrovirus in the household contacts of the children who are admitted with retrovirus therapy. We did not look for other pathogens. In those household contacts, we only looked for retrovirus infection. Due to limitation with course. That question was, in the prevalence of diarrhea, did mothers have more diarrhea than others? I did not check. But actually in the household context there was no, there was no diarrhea. So, so I, know, I did not cross check to see whether mothers had more diarrhea. I did not, I did not look for that. Among the animal studies, there is a clear distinction, distinct, distinction between cattle, pigs, and goats. I can't really comment because in the in the homes, I think they're all kept in the same way. In our in our setting, there's no difference in the way they are handled. We are all they're all staying in the same environment, so I can't really. The way, the, the way they are handled in our environment, in these households, because these were in households where you find one or two animals being kept, there was no difference in the handling of this. I think we just need to do further studies to see what is causing this difference. Cattle have more human retroviruses, and goats and pigs do not. Is there likely to be a biological difference with less possible restriction in cattle? Probably, but if I was not studying, this is something we need to we need to do the doing for the studies. We need to study it to check whether there's any post restriction. So younger animals are protected for the first two months of life. The possible explanation could be that they are getting protection because the the younger animals are still suckling, so they are getting protection from the from the breast milk. Okay, for milk. <laughs> From the milk of their... <laughs> the NSP sequencing was valuable in distinguishing different human and animal samples. Would you recommend just sequencing this gene instead of whole genome? Although in, although, in this, although in this study, it was this NSP for sequencing was able to provide us some good information, 
I would still not recommend sequencing only NSP4 because we have seen some other changes we have seen in other gene, genome, genomes which were not present in NSP4. So I would still recommend sequencing the whole gene because it gives more information on, the, on how big the problem is. Structural and structural genes more likely to be conserved? I, I can't remember. The findings do not show any uh, G2P4 strains. Are there data from other parts of Africa? Yes, in our findings, we did not get any G2P4. But in, I think other parts like South Africa they reported G2P4, although we did not get it in our, we did not report it in Uganda. At least in Africa we did not get it. What is the total proportion of unusual or non-classical strains in your study? I did not go ahead to calculate it, but it's something which I can find out and comment on later on because I have them in this part. I did not calculate it. Thank you very much, Professor Kanga, for your comments. Uh, we shall uh, yeah, take them into consideration when we are doing Let me now um, ask the internal examiner.